Welcome to episode of One Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And in today's episode, we're going to do a tutorial on how to make your iPhone into a webcam. So right now it's April 2020 due to the COVID pandemic. A lot of people are working from home as well as due to self-isolation, we can't really see our friends and family. So one of the things we have to do is rely on using our phones or webcams to actually communicate with our employees, our colleagues, or our friends. So in my case, I built a custom 4K editing and high-end gaming PC. If you're interested to see what parts I have, I'll leave a playlist up here that you can see all the parts. Unfortunately, I didn't think about getting a webcam at that time as well. Due to everyone working from home and self-isolation, there's a shortage of webcams right now. Locally, where I live right now, of all the tech places such as Best Buy, Staples, Memory Express, even Walmart, all the webcams are sold out. Everyone is picking them up. Um, I couldn't find one for the last three weeks. I could also order from Amazon, but on Amazon as well, a lot of the webcams are sold out and the delivery date is about three to four weeks to get one. So as I was looking for a solution, I found a way to turn your Apple iPhone into a webcam and stream it. And so this tutorial is gonna be talking about using an app called Epoch Cam, installing it on your Apple iPhone and how to stream it used to your Windows desktop. And so that's what this tutorial is gonna be. And as you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel for similar content. So let's get into it. So step one, go to the App Store on your phone and download the Epoch Cam application. The application is E-P-O-C-C-A-M. There are two versions. There's a red version, which is a paid version, and then there's a green version. The red version and the green version is essentially the same application. The only difference is the red version is video in HD, which is 16.9 aspect ratio, and the most important thing is there's no ads. And the green free version, it only shoots an SD, 4.3 aspect ratio, and there are advertisements that pop up when you try to use it. Right now in Canada, the ad, the red version is 10.99. Step two is download the camera drivers from the canoni.com website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you get to the website, and it's free, um, you go da scroll down to download Windows driver. I'm going to select it. And then it saves into your download folder. I'm going to right click because it's zipped. So it's a zip file. So you want to right click, extract all, and I just leave it in the default folder. So now it's been extracted. You can double click on the installer. It'll take you to the installation wizard. I'm going to click next. Agree. I'm just going to leave it in the de default destination folder. And then I'm going to reboot my computer. I've downloaded the Epoch Cam HD app on my iPhone. I've downloaded the drivers on my Windows machine. We're going to boot this up to see how it works. So what you want to do first is open up the Epoch Cam app and it automatically connects right to my PC. So you can see it's using, it's connecting using a USB. If I go to the camera app, um, you can see the camera app is now on the computer. If I switch it around, now it shows me using the front facing camera. It's right now using the rear facing camera, so it's shooting my monitor. The top right hand circular arrows is what toggles between the front and rear camera. So if I click on it, now it's going to switch to the front camera. And then the arrow button here flips the screen horizontally. Ooh, 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 ooh. So the flash button turns the flash into a continuous lighting mode. So if you're shooting video with your rear camera um, and you want continual lighting for your face, you just click on that button. And then there's the gearbox, which is your settings. Here you can choose the different bit rates. Maybe I'll choose 10 the highest quality, 
connection method, I have it set as automatic if you USB or Wi-Fi. NDI resolution, I have set at 1920 by 1080, which is HD quality. Chroma key, um, blue, magenta, so I'll stick it with the green. I hit done. And then hit the green smiley button. That gives you your green color. If you have a different backdrop that you want to do or use, then you want to project yourself on that. So this is what the green screen is. My head looks very deformed here. I'm going to turn it off. And then when you turn it off, it defaults to the rear of the camera. Now I have my iPhone all set up to be used as a webcam for my desktop PC. I'm going to try this using Zoom now to make sure it works. I have a Zoom meeting in about two minutes. I'm going to start it, make sure the camera is working. Yep, came right away, didn't have to do any settings. I'm going to do join computer with audio. So in this option, you actually can use your iPhone microphone or your desktop um, audio. So right now I have a lab mic. I have a lav mic connected to my desktop, so this is what I'll be using for this conference, just for better, uh, better sound quality than using my microphone, because it's a bit further away. In terms of picture quality, I'm just gonna double check to make sure that the video setting is correct. Select a camera, so it is recognized an Epoch camera. Again, I didn't have to do any kind of changes. Uh, video settings, I just wanna make sure it's 16.9 and that enable HD is on, which it is, which is correct. Um, so we're ready to get started. All right, so I have four of my friends online right now who we just completed a Zoom meeting and I just wanted to get their feedback on how the quality of using my iPhone as a webcam is. So do you guys have any feedback for me? It works out well. Yeah, it's good. It cuts in and out a little bit quality-wise, but it's hard to tell. Okay. I say at times the picture is a bit fuzzy, but it's definitely a great alternative if that's what you're working with. Yeah. Yeah, I think definitely with what's going on now, and uh, this is a, definitely a lot better than just doing a, a normal conference call. It still works. They can still see who you are, can get the general facial expressions. It's a lot better than nothing for sure. No. Yep. All right. So thanks, guys, for uh, for your feedback. You are welcome. No All right, so that's the feedback I got from my friends for using my iPhone as a webcam to participate in the Zoom meeting. As you heard from them, uh, sometimes the quality dropped in and out. I'm not sure if that's the internet or a leg or maybe the signal on my screen looked normal, as you can see from the footage. I'm also, um, I can see that my video had a bit of a red hue from the webcam. Um, when I looked on the iPhone itself, the color was fine, but for some reason when the signal went to the PC um, on the monitor, um, there was a red hue, uh, which I don't like. So I'm gonna have to play around with the settings to see if I can fix the white balance on that. Other than that, I thought it worked fine. Um, it did what it is supposed to do. As Braden mentioned, it's a great alternative than having no alternative, which is doing it by voice only. That concludes my tutorial on how to use the Epoch Cam app on your iPhone to stream a signal to your desktop PC as a webcam. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for some of the content. Thank you for watching and until next time.